something that experienced skiers are doing all the time is thinking about where they're going to find the best conditions. Now you've really got to get your detective hat on. The things you've got to think about, altitude, aspect, temperature, and the very recent history. Now, here's a good example. Slushy snow be melted by the sun after a cold night will often freeze, and that's gonna make the snow pretty hard. And a lot of people think in those situations they're gonna look for the sunny slopes, that's where the softer snow will be, and it's not often the case. In that scenario, it's often better to find a shady slope up higher. Now, there's a good chance the sun wouldn't have melted that the day before, so it's still gonna be cold, fresh snow. But it's very much trial and error and experience. And if you find a good slope that feels good on an altitude and an aspect, you can probably bet that on the same aspect, similar altitude, it will be as good. Now, something I'm also doing all the time when I'm on a chairlift is scanning the terrain and trying to see where the snow looks the best. And it's irrelevant whether it's on piste or off. Now, when I'm skiing down a piste or off piste, I'm constantly scanning the terrain in front of me, looking for the best snow. And I see it quite often. Somebody can be skiing down a piste and the snow could be a bit cruddy. Meanwhile, 10 meters to the right, the snow's perfect. So keep checking that snow and search for the best conditions. Mm -hmm.